Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial for those of you who are using Internet Explorer 7 and it's about an add-on called IE7 Pro which adds quite a lot of functionality to the browser. It's absolutely free um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the download site and I've provided the link in the description. Once you get there you simply click on the download free button and you'll be prompted to save the file. Once you've done that you will have an installation file on your desktop and you simply double click it to start installation. Um, it's a pretty standard installation. Um, welcome to IE7 Pro Setup. Click Next. Accept the license agreement by clicking Agree and then click Install. Now because I've already got this in my browser it won't let me do the installation so I'll just cancel out of that and back up to the top. Once you've installed this you won't find an entry for it in your programs because it actually comes as a browser helper object. But there is an entry in add and remove programs so if you decide to uninstall it it's quite simple to do that. Once you've installed this add-on if you look at the bottom right corner of your browser you'll find an icon and if you right click it you'll get a pop-up menu and you can do all sorts of things here like enable or disable its built-in ad blocker, resize windows, refresh tabs but what I want to show you are the preferences because that's where the really neat things are. Okay, That pulls up a menu like this so what can you do with this piece of software? Okay, one of the really nice things I like about this are that it introduces mouse gestures into Internet Explorer 7. And you'll see there are already some predefined ones here. Down, we'll scroll a page down. Down left, we'll close other tabs. So let me just show you that. I've got two tabs open here. I'm going to stay on this tab and if I right click my mouse and go left it will close the second tab that I had open. If I now open another tab go back to my original and do down right it will move to that browse, browser tab and close the other one. Okay. So let's go back to our preferences and what else have we got? Address bar. This is something that I really like. Here you can type in a web address and assign an alias to it. Now you'll see I've already got some in here. I've got one for YouTube and I've got one for another site that I visit quite a lot. This one here has got the alias of mob. So if I go to the address bar and type in mob, hit return, it will immediately take me to that website. So how do you set these up? Okay. Go to the address bar. let's open up a website. So let's go www.bbc.co.uk copy that URL open up preferences and go to address bar. Now I'm going to give this an alias of Beeb. I'm going to type in the URL and I'm going to add and update. You'll now see that's come up in the list. Okay, So if I click OK, clear that, open another. And if I now type in here, Beeb, it takes me directly to the BBC's homepage. OK. What else have we got? Let's have a look. There are plugins which I haven't activated. So this one will display local weather and this one here will display website IP addresses and the last modified term. You'll also see that you can get other plugins to add to it. OK, 
Okay, another useful thing are user scripts. Again, these are the default ones, but you can get more user scripts or even write your own. Let's have a look at an example. This one here will add a link to download a YouTube video. Now I've activated that. So if we go to YouTube, Okay, let's just pick any video. Now once the video has loaded, you will find in the description box that IE7 Pro has added a download video link. And if you click that, it will prompt you to save the file. Okay, so that's quite useful. Okay text saver. Now this is useful if you're typing text in a field and you then change your mind but then later want to put it back in. For example if you're on a forum and you start posting a message and let's say your PC crashes and you have to reboot. If you go back to that forum and go back to posting a message you will automatically find that the text you'd started inputting will have been saved and a toolbar will pop up and it will insert the text. So let's have an example of that. I've already this site so if I log in Now let's go to a thread and let's say I wanted to post a new subject. Okay. Random. Type this is a test. Okay. Now let's say my PC crashed and I lost all of that. So let's go back. I've rebooted, gone back to the forum. Do a new topic, test. Now you'll see over here a toolbar has popped up. And if I click the little pencil, and it reinstates the text. That's really useful. I'm not actually going to post this. Let's log out of there. So that's, that's a good add-in. I mean, there are, there are lots of other things that you can do with this, far too many than I can explain in a short video like this. Um, standard things like privacy, where you can clear all of the data that you've entered in a browsing session, clear your tab history, clear addresses, web forms, etc, etc. Okay, faster IE. I've enabled prefetching, um, which makes the loading of web pages slightly quicker than it would normally be. Okay, so let's cancel that. If you right click on the icon, a really neat trick is the pop up tab history, okay, which is quicker than opening up the history in IE7, and that will allow you to go back to a recently visited homepage and it will open them up in a new tab. And there you are. Okay. So that's a brief overview of IE7 Pro. Uh, if you are still using Internet Explorer 7, I would thoroughly recommend that you add this to the browser. Um, if you like this video, subscribe, rate it. Please give me comments, as it is the first one I've ever done. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.